everything we do is by the grace of God. It's not by our might, nor by our power. Uh, and that is why it's really important for us to gather here today. And without going into too much details, uh, everyone knows the political situation in Togo and everyone is fighting. We're all fighting together to try and get out of uh, this situation. And uh, there has been a lot of protests, a lot of demonstrations uh, organized by the UK to Togolese diaspora movement. And I would like to take the opportunity to thank everyone uh, for your input in those demonstrations. Uh, so since uh, the 1st of September, we've had two protests uh, in London, and then we've had other two protests, uh, protests outside London, okay, so in Paris. So together, the UK Togolese diaspora movement has taken part in four protests since the 1st of September. Um, but it's getting to a stage where we believe that what we're doing is, uh, is mostly in the flesh. So going out there and you know, shouting and crying for justice and all that and asking uh, for to leave power is good. But that only is not enough. We can't do everything in the flesh. And that is why we've invited everyone so that we can gather here this evening and ask God Almighty to assist us in this battle uh, to liberate uh, the Togolese people. Donc, a pena mi, be a mi repone a pelia, ne mia so a doke milewa, so da cinema u, ne mounto badu jinami, badu jinami, a nimia pomposu bon, a pastor o limia melefi, donc a win fois encore, a pena mi, donc ma so. Beasona, a Pastor Bright. Mercy. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know you are not used to this job. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Or everything like this. But we are going to do that tonight or this afternoon. Amen. Um, the person just spoken was uh, our leader. I, I, I didn't present him before he spoke, but he's our a leader, yeah? So I'm so grateful that we have this prayer today. He's been inspired to organize this prayer meeting tonight, or this afternoon. And uh, looking at Togolese situation, I think... It's a, it's a victory already having this plan or having the manifestation from Togo to London to Paris is already a victory. So we are going to celebrate that tonight and fight and praise God and worship him. I'm going to read a scripture from Isaiah 54 verse 1, Isaiah 54 verse 1. If you go home, read the whole chapter. Read the whole chapter. He's saying, sing barren woman, you who never bore a child, birth into song. Isaiah 54 verse 1. Birth into song. Shout for joy, you who were never in labor, because more are the children of the desolate woman than of her who have a husband. God is saying to us, you who does not have nothing at all, who doesn't have nothing, shout for joy. Shout for joy this evening or this afternoon. So we are going to stand up, we are going to pray, and we are going to Give this time to God so that God can lead us. We Togolese who never have that opportunity to manifest. Now we can see every day, every week, people are manifesting. It's a glory for God. So we're going to stand up and we're going to pray. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to, to start praying. Uh, you know, just 
give us some background song. Father in the heaven, we thank you, we bless you, we give you praise, we adore you, we honor you for this time like this, that you organize that we can come together and praise you and worship you and give you glory. We pray that your spirit will guide us tonight. Your spirit will, will guide us that we, we may excel in your presence. We give you glory, we give you honor. We pray for those who are the way to come this afternoon. We pray that everything we are going to do this afternoon will honor you, will lift you up. We give you praise, we give you honor. We adore you this evening. Thank you, Father. We pray for those who are on their way here, Lord, that they, will, they may have a safe journey. Hallelujah. Take control of everything we are going to do this afternoon. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Come, Holy Ghost. Minister to us this afternoon. Because we need you. Without you, we can't do nothing. And we go nowhere. But with you, come the revelation and the victory. We thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Can we give uh, praise to the Lord this place? Can we do it properly, you know? <laughs> Hallelujah. I believe we can do more than that. No, I don't like people to look at me. No, 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 no. And they look they start, you know, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, worship team. I, I, I believe you know you're going to come back in between prayers. Yeah, we, we, we thank you for, for everything. Now, before we... Can you, can you sit down? You can, you can have your seat quickly. Now, before we... Um, we start praying. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invite uh, one of our senior brothers, the big brothers, the you know, you probably Mr. Davi, uh, one of the uh, leaders in the Togolese community. Just because we want, we want to pray. We want to be to pray informed prayer. Uh, I don't know if I, you know, excuse my English tonight, but we're gonna, we're gonna fight uh, with what we can do. So, it's informed prayer we want to do. So, we're going to call him. He's going to give us a quick update of what is going on in this great nation that we call Togo. Amen. Mr. David, please. Thank you all for coming. Now, as we know, uh, Togo at the moment is involved in an existential fight that will determine the future of our country. Now, Togo and the Togolese have always been fighters. We fought against the colonial powers to achieve independence in 1960. Our forefathers, our fathers, our mothers, our grandmothers, they were all involved in that fight. Now, Togo was called the Switzerland of Africa. We started very very brightly as a country unfortunately now the powers that be particularly the french didn't like that so they organized the coup d'etat in 1963 to get rid of the togolese president sylvanus olympio and put in his place nicola grinitsky and then the yadema who are the people that they like that the french like so that they can give them what they wanted from togo at the expense of the togolese people the Togolese people have never stopped fighting. Now, for the last six months, the Togolese people are up and arm again. And everybody is determined that this time round, they are not going to lay down arms until the Adema clique are gone. Now, we, members of the Togolese diaspora, we feel for our country. We feel for our people. We feel for our children. We want the tyranny of the Adema clique to stop. That is why we, in the whole diaspora, we are up in arm. And that is why we started 
the UK Togolese diaspora movement here to bring this to an end. Now, God has said that when there are two people who are gathered to invoke his name, it will be in their midst. Now, we know that our struggle will continue. At the same time, as Paul Seely said at the beginning, human power is limited. It is not just uh, a political fight. It is also a spiritual fight. And that is why we gathered here today. Now, on the ground in Togo, now a lot of people have been injured. People have been killed. People have been maimed. People are suffering. But they are still fighting. We are relatively well off compared to the people in Togo. So we have decided to lend our support. People have given money to us to send to Togo to support the people who are injured, who are having treatment, who need food. We are even organizing a collection of clothes for people who need clothing, etc., etc. So we are not going to give up until such time when victory is complete. Amen. And the Lord is going to support us in fighting this fight that will bring us victory. We've had uh, two demonstrations already in London. Those of us who are here, we are going to call on the Lord to support our fight, to give us strength, to give us wisdom, so that we can work together. Let's get rid of the devil because already there are some fighting, infighting going on in the Togolese community in France and elsewhere. That's the work of the devil. Let's get rid of the devil today. Let's pray so that God can help us to unite, to fight, to avoid giving in to corruption. Because the Togolese government is going around distributing money. We've heard that they send people to Paris to give some people 10 million CFA and things like that. So that they can actually destroy the fight. But that is not going to happen with the help of God. We are going to win. Thank you all for coming. Merci, Monsieur David. Um I would like to uh, add a bit to what Mr. David has said. Uh, he's giving a kind of a sum up of what has been happening uh, since the independence in and, uh, and the last couple of months. But I just would like to add to what is currently going on in Togo. Um, and I'm sure you've heard that there's been negotiation going on, there's been dialogues, at least planned. Um, so the UK TDM is part of the European or um, I would say diaspora and usually we meet up every Sunday, there's a conference call. So this morning we had a conference call for about three hours where all the leaders in the, uh, the diaspora, you know, we were sharing ideas and what was going on. So with regards to the dialogues, um, it has stopped. There's no dialogues going on. There's no negotiation going on currently in Togo. So about, I think, three weeks ago, a month ago, TP was in France and, uh, and Fab and uh, Ajamagbo. Yeah. So they met with uh, Condé uh, and all that. And uh, the result from that meeting was that they would go in dialogue. But when they went back to Togo, for as you know, you know uh, clever as he is, he and his father uh, are responsible uh, partly, uh, greatly in what is happening today, not just in Togo, but in the whole of West Africa. So clever as he is, when the politicians, when our leaders went back to Togo, instead of him asking for uh, the Ghanaian president, uh, who was part you know, of leading the negotiations, he instead asked for our leaders and uh, LPT Unil and a couple of associations within Togo to sit down and talk. But we know he's never respected anything that has been said for the last couple of, you know, God knows, years. So um, 
the reason why I'm saying this is because some of you, you know, be sitting here and thinking, but actually, you know, there's dialogues going on, you know, why are we still doing this? It's really important that we stay focused, okay, and carry on fighting. Uh, like Mr. David said, uh, you know, where God is, you know, sometimes the devil lurks around, you know. Uh, so the devil is around, and uh, yes, the devil is trying to, you know, separate us and, you know, what is happening in currently in, in France with this new coalition you've heard about. Uh, but I can assure you, uh, after the meeting today, everything has been sorted. You know, there's been more understanding. And, you know, each party has apologized. And, you know, we've said, you know, there's no need. Uh, this is not the time for that. Our f first objective or our main objective is for to leave power. You know, once four is gone, then we will look at, you know, any, anything else. So... I just wanted to assure you, there's no fighting going on. You know, everyone has understood each other, and we are committed, you know, to carry this fight on and 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 and, and ensure for least power. Um, there, there was a protest going on in Ghana today, and I'm sure some of you, you know, maybe have seen the advert and all that. Today, uh, in Lome or in Togo, there were protests in in, in Togo, but. Uh, that went on very well as well. There, there wasn't much, you know, problem. But as you know, uh, again, four and you know his acolytes, uh, they, you know, their aim is to try and you know, uh, put an end to what we're doing, try and you know uh, separate us, you know, do whatever they can. So there were soldiers again put on the streets uh, to try and stop people going to the protest. But uh, you know, we're not going to give up. We're not going to give up, and you know this this new generation is a different generation to the last, you know, you know the old generation. I've, uh, I do apologize for that. I've got my fathers amongst us, so you know we're not going to stop the fight. We are very fortunate. We are very fortunate. If you look around, how many pastors do we have here today? You know, it's a blessing. It's a blessing, and we, you know, we have to stick together and and carry the fight on. So yes, that is what is happening currently in Togo. TP is saying, you know, the protest is going to carry on until, you know, we get what we want, which is, you know, to negotiate how far is going to leave power. So, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's what is going on. And then, thank you. Merci. Amen and amen. I said amen. amen. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. Okay, now let's pray. You know, you want to pray tonight? Yeah, to know, this evening or this afternoon, whatever, we, you know. But we, we just want to pray, amen. And um, first I want to read a, a, a scripture quickly in 2 Chronicle, uh, ch chapter 7, because we want, to know, we, we want to know the basis on which we are doing this. Okay, we are not a political association. We are not called here to, to come and, uh, and, do, and do politics. But we believe that, uh, you know, we have a God that is in charge of everything. Amen. Even the politicians, sometimes they do things they don't know what they are doing. But God knows because God has always known what is going to happen. Amen. He says, uh, uh, verse 14, he says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Hallelujah. Now what we are here for is to see our land healed. I don't, I don't, I don't. Excuse me. I'm going to... Everybody speak French. Look, I, I, everybody speak French, isn't it? Ah, thinking. But okay. Now we, we're going we're gonna to do it in uh, English and then they will find someone to translate for them if, uh, if they receive this. Amen. I'm, I'm, I was saying basically this is just a scripture I want to I wanna read. To, 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 to make sure everybody knows that if we're doing this, it's because we want God to intervene in our situation and, 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 and heal our land. Our land is sick. I'm not going to talk about anybody tonight, uh, which, uh, which, uh, which side against which side. But one thing I know is God wants that our land to be healed. And he knows what to do. He knows how to do it, how to go about it. We're going to trust God and put our trust into the Lord. Amen. So... Um, th this is just uh, to settle the, 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 not settle the issue, but to make sure we all know where we come from, where we're going. 
Hallelujah. Today, today we just want to believe that God is in charge. He's in charge. He's in charge. Amen. Now, I was um, I was praying for uh, praying for this meeting, um, uh, uh, and uh, you know, I, I, as soon as I get into the prayer prayer place, I receive. Uh, it's like God, God was talking to me about. He was saying basically, you know, I want to bring order into the nation. I want to bring an order into the nation. And uh, it's like, uh, you know, those words, when you receive it, it's like a peace come to you. It's like, oh my God, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm now sure that you are leading whatever is happening. You know, we are fighting, but you know, the, the, the fight that we're doing is, 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 is nothing compared to what God can do. I was telling some of our brothers one day, look, we're going to do everything and then we'll be frustrated, we'll be, you know. And then one day, from nowhere, God will start making a way. And then we, what's happening? Is it Togo? Are you sure? We're going to ask ourselves, is it, is, it, is it Togo? Yes, it's Togo. He's coming. Very, very soon. He is coming. Hallelujah. So I'm going to pray, uh, 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 start praying from Genesis uh, uh, chapter 1. Uh, according to the word that God has, uh, has given me. Verse 2. You all know this. Basically, amen. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you all right? Now, Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. It says, The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness. He called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Hallelujah. I said right now that God want to bring order. That's why he's saying here at the beginning, there was no order. There was confusion. Things were up, upside down. There was nothing you can glorify yourself in. And the Bible said that God has looked at it and said, I have to do something. And I, I want to I tell you tonight, God wants to do something in Togo. Whenever there, was, there is, there is, there is a, 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 a confusion, he want to bring order. And there is only one word God has said. He said, there must be light. And something like that must happen in Togo. He is about, he's like God is about to pronounce the healing of the nation. And when that happened, when God says it, nobody, no spirit, nothing can stand against the will of God can stand against the timing of God. Nothing can stop people from Togo to recover their well-being, their freedom. I want to tell you something in a, in a minute. Hallelujah. How God will do it. The Bible says in Ephesians 6, 6 verse 12, those people that have followed the, uh, what do you call that? Social, social media this morning. I put uh, this there. You know, because we are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are not. If we think we are, we are wasting our time. Because behind those flesh and blood that you can see, there are spiritual powers that are working. And they don't like order. They like confusion. Because they, they, they flourish over confusion. That's why when God comes into it, he will bring order. Hallelujah. Go and, go and, and read Ephesians 6, 12. I don't have time today. But he talks about the spiritual warfare that we ought to do. We are not going to focus on blood and, and flesh. When I say blood and flesh, it's our fellow human being. We are not going to, fo- we're not, we're not going to you know, uh, sometimes when I, I think about it, look at guys, look, look at what happened in Benin. Who would believe one day President Kerouk will just say, "Okay, go for conf- national conference, and then I, I will accept everything." You do. This guy was like those people you are thinking about today. But when God touch the heart of a person, 
Something must change. Something must change. That's why the devil starts fleeing. And that's why we have to pray. We have to pray for those people that are in power. They don't even know what they're doing. They don't know the, 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 the bad things they are doing to their own people. But we are not going to focus on that. We're going to ask God, what is your plan for our, our nation? The order of God. I want to close with this and then we're going to pray. You know, in, in, in Genesis 1, verse 28, the Bible says, when, when God made man, you know what he said to the man? He said, go and, and, and have dominion. On everything. He said, the, the, the fish, the, you know, everything. Except one thing. Is himself. God never said, go and have dominion on men. That's why everywhere someone wants to dominate his brothers, there will be a problem. That's why in our nature, we are free. You want freedom. You want to flourish. Because what God has given you dominion on, you leave them aside, and you want to, you want to do, dominate on your fellow, 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 fellow human being. It's not biblical. That's why you're fighting. If you feel that you are not free, freedom is from God. Hallelujah. That's why sometimes people say, oh, you know, you are a pastor, you want to do politics. Hallelujah. Hey, it's not politics. It's just because I told you last time, you guys, you, you put this picture on, 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 on Facebook. It's not picture, the video of last uh, uh, demonstration. And then I said, my family, everybody start calling me because I, I just made a, a small speech. He said, ah, you know, you have to do your work. You, you, you're a pastor. You know, this is not really... <laughs> well, you know, they are right, you know. <laughs> they said, no, this is not for you. Your role is to advise people. You understand? I mean, you push them on the, on the, on the street and you hide in the holy place. <laughs> in fact, that's what they are saying. But I said, no. Now, the time has come that nobody should shy away. If you love your friend, you love your brothers, you need to do what God has given you to do so that those people will have freedom. That's what we want from our nation. You understand that today? Amen? Then we, let's, let's, let's stand up. We're going to pray. We're going to take a few points. And we're going to pray. Hallelujah. Now, the first thing we're going to do, we got, I'm going to bounce back on the uh, 2 Chronicles uh, uh, chapter 7. And I want, I want us to take time to, uh, tonight just to go to, to go in front of the in, in front of the, the throne of grace and ask forgiveness as, as a country, as a nation. I'm not going to go back to things we have done. But you know, I, I, sometimes last, last time I, I saw again a video of what we call animation politique. Idolatry. You and me. I remember we, we leave school and we say you only can rule the Togo. You remember? And he said, no, I want to go. He said, you won't go. You are the only one that can rule us. But God says, the only thing God says, the first commandment is there won't be any God as me in front of, you know, it, it, no idolatry. You can't take anybody as a God. If you do it, there is consequence. And we as nation of Togo, we have done it. Even we that are fighting today. There was a point in our life if we think everything that we can be is through them. Everything that we can achieve is through them. Even when you go to school, you don't believe in your own achievement. You believe that there is a God in Togo that will make you what you're supposed to be. That's where we are today. And I know people have been praying this prayer. But I want us to Again, go in front of the Lord tonight. And say, sorry. Uh, not sorry. He, 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 he should repent in front of God. And say, Lord. Hallelujah. Because even today, there is still tendency in some people to think 
that they have to go with the enemy so that they can rule or they can become what they want to become. God is in control of your life. You don't need nobody to make you what you're supposed to be because God has designed everything before even you know those people. Trust God. Hallelujah. So if you are here tonight, let's start repenting in front of God. As a nation, don't pray for yourself. Pray as a nation today. Make sure that you pray for Togo and ask God forgiveness. Forgive us our wrong ways. Our ways of idolatry. Lord, we ask forgiveness. Help us to leave those ways behind. And come and, and, and lift you up. You alone. You are, the, you are the king of our nation. You are, the, you, are, you are the president of our nation, Lord. You are the only one to reign over Togo. And we want to thank you, Lord. Because we, our understanding is now open. And we know that we have to come back. We have to turn back to you. We want, we want to come and say, Lord, come and help us to achieve what you want us to achieve. That's why we want to come back to you. Because it's with you that we can have the victory. Hallelujah. We want you to be the king. Get Even when we have fight for our own, our own things, myself before everybody else, myself before the nation, myself before the country, today we say to God, help us and forgive us. And forgive us. And forgive us. Even if we have been part of, of, of the oppression at some point of our life, Lord, we say, we say, forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. Hallelujah. The Bible says when you forgive sins, they are cleansed completely. And we believe you are doing it tonight again. In our life and in the nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Now we're going to pray for everybody that is in leadership in our nation. As I said before, the Bible said the heart of the king is in the hand of God. And he can turn it the way he wants. He can give a direction the way he wants. So I want us to pray tonight. No, don't, 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 don't focus on any particular person. We just want to tell the Lord, anybody that is in, in a leadership position that God can use to change something, we say, God, take control. Take control. Start, start praying. Eh, 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 eh. I want to I wanna hear you pray tonight because we want to change. Something is changing in the spiritual realm. Something is going to change in the name of Jesus Christ. Those people that refused even to hear the nation, the people. Oh my God. I have to finish this. Oh. Hallelujah. We have no time. We thank you God and we give you, we give you glory because you alone you alone, you alone, you alone, you alone can make it happen. You alone can make it happen. You alone can make it happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray as well for all the leaders of the diaspora or the different movement that are fighting, even in the position in Togo. Let's pray for them. Let's, give, let's, let's ask God to, 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 to use them. Let's, let's ask God to, to, to talk to them, to speak to them, to, 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 to lead them, to lead them, to lead the people to victory place, to the freedom place. Let's ask God to intervene in their life in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are, wherever they are, we pray against the corruption, we pray again everything that is not part of what God has for our nation. We pray that everything that is the devil that is working in their midst, God must remove it in the name of Jesus Christ. Because we want freedom. And we know God, God is going to do it. His way is not our ways. And we believe He's going to do it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Something new he's going to do in our nation. Something new. You will wake up one day. You know, write this, write this down. You will wake up one day. And the way or the, the, you know, the direction 
in which you are waiting for the victory. It won't come that way. It won't come that way. You just wake up one day and say, what? Are you sure? They will say, yes. You, you, you haven't heard it? <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I just want everybody to be sure that the victory is on the way. Amen. Hallelujah. The victory is on the way. God love us. Amen. Amen. And, uh, I title my sessions Removing the Yoke of Togo. Amen. 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 Removing the Yoke of Togo. Uh, I pick up two scripture from Genesis and Jeremiah. Uh, we need to go through them. Amen. Project the first one to me. Is, um, because if you heard very well, uh, there was two boys, Esau and Jacob, who were sons of the same father. Therefore, uh, the same uh, family. But now, it happened that uh, as, uh, Isaac blessed Jacob. When he blessed Jacob, Esau was asking, what about me? And this is what he answered. He said, by your sword, you shall live. That means you live by fighting. You live by struggling. Hallelujah. Even though they are of the same father, eh? And say, and you shall serve your brother. And it shall come to pass when you become restless that you shall break the yoke from your neck. This look exactly as the situation of Togo. We are of the same nation, but one side is serving the other. And the other side is putting a yoke on the other. And this yoke is designed to slow you down mm -hmm. from your destiny. Mm -hmm. Sometimes to stop you going into some uh, directions mm -hmm. or some of the things God really wants for you, mm -hmm. you don't get it mm -hmm. because there is a brother who has put a yoke on you. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you this. I talk about politics, but I'm not a politician. Mm -hmm. Because politicians, they don't tell the truth. I say, I tell the truth. Mm -hmm. I tell them the truth. Yes. I, I, I don't care. Uh, I am not scared of any of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even fear death. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? And which is the reality. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you this. Freedom, total freedom comes when you, don't, you fear death no more. Mm -hmm. yes. Total freedom comes when you fear death no more. Because the biggest weapon somebody can use against you is death. Mm -hmm. If you fear death no more, yes. no, you are free. Yes. Amen. Amen? So I'm going to give it to them all now. Amen? Amen. So now, it happens sometimes that even the yoke you have that have been placed on you come from God himself. This one is Jacob who declared it on his own son. Okay? Let's look at the second one. Jeremiah 28, verse 13 to 14. He said, go and tell Anania, this is what the Lord said. You have broken a wooden yoke, but you have replaced it with a yoke of iron. The Lord of heaven army, the God of Israel said, I have put a yoke of iron on your neck. Amen? On, on the necks of your, all, all this nation. Forcing them into slavery under Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. I have put everything, even the wild animal, under his control. So, what I want to say is that the yoke of Togo. Amen? Is going to be break, broken tonight. Amen. 
but had been put on Togo by the Almighty God. Amen. I say I'm not a politician. Mm-hmm. I said the truth. If you heard about the prophecy of Wovenu, Wo- Wo- anybody heard about it? Prophet yes. From Ghana. From Ghana. Mm-hmm. Before the independence, he prophesied. Mm-hmm. Say a dictator will go in and come and lead the country for long. Mm-hmm. When he leads the country for long, his son is going to take over. Mm-hmm. But the son will not, will not rule as long as the father. Mm-hmm. But if you know very well, anything God puts, okay, under slavery or whatever in the Bible, after 50 years, everybody is free. Okay, because Olympia, when they wanted to get the independence, they didn't see God to get the independence. They go to the juju and all yeah. those things. Mm. Talk about it. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So the yoke of, of the uh, colonization, that's the yoke of wooden, mm. have been replaced by the yoke of what? Iron. Iron. Show me the next picture. We see what is yoke. This is it. You cannot move. Mm-hmm. But this one is wooden. Amen? And the iron one came from our own. Hallelujah. But it's going to be broken. Amen. Because the time has come for it to be broken. Hallelujah. Amen. And even to tell you, I can even tell you more because it's not by uh, chance that. I am here involved in this thing today. My eyes have seen a lot in the fight for Togo. Okay? Uh, I'm little, but I know a lot. Amen? And my eyes have witnessed a lot. And even the day the Lord took me to... No, I'll tell it. Okay? The day the Lord took me, and we went to Togo, and he showed me that, we went to the for, over the forest of Bear, and he said, he showed me people what people are doing, and later he showed me another part of some military are doing certain meeting to the, to overthrow the government. He came, he came we had a, a runabout of uh, Paul, and say me he put his hand and said me Jesus is going to deliver this country. Amen. So the way he's going to do it will surprise everyone. Yes. Yes. He said me Jesus. If not to be honest today, sometimes I get upset. But if the Lord spoke, you have to remain like this. Hallelujah. So, brothers and sisters, I want to tell you that a Yadema and Yasinbe people, they have done a lot of things. Amen. They have done a lot of things. They have given the throne of the world, the country, everything under some. Uh, Worship of a lot of things, mm. amen. Mm. But God being God mm. today is going to be broken, amen. amen. God is going to do it, but right now, if the things is taking time, God being the master of wisdom, He knows what He's doing, okay. And in this battle, some people are going to fall off, some people are going to be exposed, everything. Then tomorrow, we don't have anything like what's up. Um, they also want to is going to bring order. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. So we are going to stand up and we are going to pray to take the to to ask God because we pray right now for forgiveness for the country. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. You see, we didn't meet him, but God planned everything. We pray for the forgiveness of the country. Now we are right now to ask for the broken of. Yeah. Amen. We are going to pray. To break uh, for the yoke to be broken, amen, and then he can go anytime. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Four will go. It's not four must go. Or four is going. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Four is going. He will go. He cannot stand there. No. <laughs> amen. And even let me tell you this. Don't worry. Some people are thinking weapons, uh, guns, things. Like, we don't need it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We don't need it. I'm a right person to tell you we don't need it. Yes. Amen. Yes. I know what I'm telling you. If I say we don't need it, trust me, we don't need it. Yes. 
God is more powerful. Ah, let me show you this. In Isaiah, verse 37, something happened. He said, and this is what the Lord says about the king of Assyria. His army will not enter Jerusalem. They will not even shoot an arrow at it. They will not march outside its gate it with their shield nor build banks of earth against its wall. The king will return to his own country by the same road on which he came. He will not enter his city, said the Lord, for my own honor and the sake of my servant David, I will defend this city and protect it. What happened 36? That night, an angel, one angel, the angels of the Lord, one angel, one angel of the Lord went to the Assyria camp and killed 185,000. One angel. So if God says he's going to do it, let's just praise him. Hallelujah. Sorry, I'm not. This one I say, I preach, I, I read the Bible. What I met Jesus and he told me is what I'm saying. Yes. God is going to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. That same Jesus is with us here. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Maybe you don't see him around and you may say, who is this guy? What is he talking about? Hey. Oh, maybe some people, you have felt something. You, you feel the anointing here already. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit is here. Amen. Amen. Big time. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to pray. Amen. Let's just, amen. Let's just stand up and pray and ask God and say that now, okay, we are breaking every yoke placed on Togo. We are breaking the 50 years has come and we are breaking it now in the name of Jesus. Father, we break and we destroy God. Every yoke, every yoke in the name of Jesus. We destroy the yoke in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. We destroy every yoke placed on top of every yoke of hardship, everything that has been done. We say no to that in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray for the year 2018 to be a, a year of divine restoration. What I mean, divine restoration, whatever is the plan of God over that country, let it be restored in 2018. Anybody who opposes it, let God remove them. Hallelujah. Let's pray. <coughs> Father, we are praying right now. Maya Kata, yeah. In this must be a year of restoration of this country. Divine restoration into the plan of God. The plan of God. Any bad tomato, Father, remove them. Anybody want to resist and oppose your plan, Jesus of Nazareth, remove them, remove them, destroy them, remove them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jehovah, let's sing Jehovah.
The second part is going to take uh, some five minutes of prayer. We want to pray is uh, after the departure of one that you pray. Hallelujah. Because we are talking to God that can see beyond the departure of one that you pray. Amen. So we are going to pray. Why I want to pray this prayer? Because this last Monday, I saw one politician. The Lord opened my eyes, I saw one politician. This guy is going to the Juju people just to do whatever he can do to be the next president. But you know, let me I'll tell you something. We have something in Togo where they don't punish people who do wrong. You know why, where this thing comes from? When you believe that you are over others, you are stronger than others. Look in the in our villages. The person who has the biggest juju, he respects no one because no one can do anything to him. So when you are a president, you don't fear God. And you are not humble. You do whatever you like, regardless of your name. So we are going to pray that no one who will not fear God will ever sit on the throne of God. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray. Father, we are going to consecrate the throne of Togo. Anybody who doesn't fear you cannot sit on it and leave. Lord, we are praying. The throne of Togo. Why now we are taking it and we are sitting on it? People who fear you, anybody who does not fear you, who does not obey you, who is not humble, Father, will not sit on that throne and leave. You sit on that throne, you are dangerous. Maka saka ta yaraba, roba la kalaba saka ta yeme. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. Reba kwa la kalaba saka ta yaraba. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, we want folk to go, but we don't want a disorder in the country after the departure of God. So we want people to love each other in the country and to accept each other. And that will require forgiveness as well. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray because all this we are asking, the Spirit of God is able for the Spirit of God to descend on the country. The, as soon as, yes. As soon as remove four, then people can be able to do that. Amen. Peace and loving each other. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, we are praying and we are asking grace. Why not God? Grace of forgiveness. 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 Let people love each other for equality to come in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. We want to thank you because you are great God and you are wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. May your name be Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, because of the time, I just have one more a subject and that's a, a prayer point and that's it. The prayer point I have right now, people don't talk about it openly, but I would. Amen. Our elite or our intellectual, high rank intellectual, are being controlled by some uh, secret societies. And our institutions as well are controlled, no, our countries are controlled by the so-called institution. When they took Kakomu Bupo into, what do you call it, uh, uh, Francophonie. Why? Because the rules there you must not talk. But the guy is a real man. He believed that CFA is not good for his country. But they put him there so he cannot talk. He spoke, they sack him. We need him very soon. So we thank God. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray. Anybody who become PhD or whatever, and they are telling you to go into those things, let the Spirit of God speak to them so they don't go into them. Yes. Amen. Let's pray. Father, I'm praying. I'm praying. We are praying right now. Any secret society, any institution that is not relevant and beneficial for the country, bring God people, the Holy people, who can be bold now. Take us out of death and pull themselves out of this. Oh, give up before you pray. Because you are great God, you are wonderful God, you are powerful God. Thank you, Jesus. May your name be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.
So God bless you. Amen. My time is up. Amen. Tous ceux qui ont sont, venus, sont ont intervenus avant moi, que le Seigneur vous bénisse. Amen. Donc nous allons aller rapidement parce que nous n'avons pas de temps. Je crois que j'ai 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Donc je vais aller à l'essentiel. Amen. Amen. Nous allons continuer à prier avec le passage de Ephésiens 6 mm -hmm. à partir du verset euh, 12 qui dit car nous n'avons pas lutté contre la chair et le sang mm -hmm. mais contre les dominations, contre les autorités, contre les princes de ce monde et des ténèbres, contre les esprits méchants dans les lieux célestes. Alléluia. Que tout le monde ait une idée que vous avez, comme on appelle ça, un ciseau dans vos mains. Les liens qui sont entre eux. Les liens qui sont là. Nous ne coupons au nom de Jésus. La trahison spirituelle du Togo est coupée aujourd'hui. La vente du Togo à l'étranger, coupez-les avec ces ciseaux dans votre esprit de prier. Nous les coupons au nom de Jésus. Nous les coupons au nom de Jésus. Nous coupons les liens 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 au nom de Jésus. qui a vu le Togo quand les premières populations étaient arrivées sur le territoire, il y avait un roi qui s'appelait je crois Gokoli. et il avait construit un mur autour de la population qui était sous son contrôle et l'histoire nous montre que le jour où cette population s'est levée ils ont fait un trou dans le mur et ils ont brisé le mur et ils sont sortis cette population était éparpillée et c'était éparpillée au Bénin, au Togo et au Ghana Aujourd'hui, il y a un mur spirituel autour du Togo. Nous allons briser ce mur spirituel maintenant. Comme les murs de Jéricho ont été brisés. Dis ce soir, que quelqu'un dit ce soir, nous brisons les murs de domination, d'oppression, de méchanceté, de mort autour du Togo. Nous les brisons ce soir au nord, à l'est. Au sud, que la nuit s'écroule, que la nuit s'écroule, commence à prier, que la nuit s'écroule, que la nuit s'écroule, les murs confondent, que le peuple sorte, au nom de Jésus, au nom de Jésus, que le peuple sorte, que le peuple du Togo soit libéré, au nom de Jésus, que le peuple soit libéré, que les murs soient brisés, que les murs soient brisés, que les murs soient brisés. Verset 44. Je châtirai belle à Babylone, j'arracherai de sa bouche ce qu'il engloutit. Et les nations n'appuieront plus, plus vers lui. La muraille même de Babylone est tombée. Sortez du milieu d'elle, mon peuple, et que chacun sauve sa vie. En échappant à la colère ardente de l'éternel. Sortez du milieu d'elle. Alléluia. Quelqu'un dit le col sort au milieu de cette nuit, au milieu de ce mur de contrôle, de domination, de méchanceté. Au nom de Jésus. Que le Togo sort. Togo sort. Que le Togo sort. Que le Togo sort. Que le Togo sort. Au nom de Jésus. Merci Seigneur. La liberté est arrivée au Togo. Au nom de Jésus. On a compris pour Jésus. Le roi des rois. Praise the Lord. We are serving a God of miracles. I know. Yes, I know. We are serving a God of miracles. Violence. Violence. We 
you have to take it by force. Since the time of Yadima, Togo has been going through a lot of turmoil. The time has come for the violent to take it by force. We can never do this without prayer. We're going to be violent in prayer. Press the Lord. I say, press the Lord. I say, press the Lord. Elijah is a man of prayer. Anytime he prayed, he knew for sure that something would happen. And Elijah is a man of prayer. Anytime he prayed, he knew for sure that in the next second, something would definitely happen. Bless the Lord. And beware, if you are to contend with Elijah, we just call fire from heaven to destroy you. At this point of time, we're going to raise our Jehovah God Almighty. We're going to call fire, fire from heaven to come down on Togo. Fire from heaven to deliver this country out of the hand of the wicked. We can achieve this right now. We can achieve this right now. We can achieve this right now. Because the Bible says that whatever two or three people have gathered together in my name, there he shall be. By faith, we know that God is here at this point of time. Praise the Lord. Let us raise our Jehovah God Almighty and let us pray for Togo. Prayer. Our Father and our Lord, may your mighty name be glorified. Father, I give you glory, I give honor to you. Jehovah, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, take glory and take honor. Jehovah, we call upon your name in the name of Jesus. Father, take us to the control. Be with us all. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. When King Jehoshaphat was leading the Israelites, the Assyrian army was waging a heavy war against the Israelites. But King Jehoshaphat consulted God, God, what shall I do in order to overcome this army? God spoke to King Jehoshaphat, just put your choir in the front. Eventually, King Jehoshaphat hear the word of God. He put the choir in the front praising God, giving glory, give honor to Jehovah God Almighty. Sometimes you will think, what can music do in front of an army? They have Kalashnikov, all the weapon. God just said to you, just go and sing some for praise for me, and I will defeat all your enemies. Choir, you are the best. Choir, you are the best. This evening, we're going to achieve many things through choir. Praise the Lord. You know what? Anywhere that is injustice, anywhere that is injustice, there is always a problem. I was reading the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 7. When people change justice into wormwood, second, you just read the book of God Almighty and pray for Togo. We're going to pray for deliverance, pray for protection, and pray for victory. Brethren, let us pray together. Prayer. Of God, Jesus Christ, holy my dear. Yeah. At this point of time, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you glory to you. Your name is above our name. Your power is above our power. And your kingdom will last forever. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, look at all this. Father, never forsake us. Be with us all. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. King Nebuchadnezzar thought that he was the center of everything. No one would defeat him. But when the power of God touched him, what happened to him? He relinquished his kingdom. He went to live in a bush for seven, seven good years. Praise the Lord. Dear Father Lord, we thank you for this evening. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I put into your hand Togo and the Togolese people. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we want your power to prevail. We are praying for deliverance. Total deliverance. Yes. Total victory, yes, total victory yes, for your Togo. Yes, in the name of Jesus, it shall yes, be so. In the name of Jesus, yes, it shall be so. In the name of Jesus, it shall be so. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Tu peux, tu peux pousser un cri de joie. Come on. Hallelujah. Merci Seigneur. Merci beaucoup. Can we, can we have a seat quickly? Look, we are running out of time. My God. Sometimes I wish I can pray like uh, Joshua and everybody and ask the time to stop. Amen. Because we want to move. Amen. Amen. Look, on va, on va faire quelque chose. Je crois que c'est, we're going to do something that I, I believe is the most important thing tonight. 
is to give. Look at the silence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen! <laughs> amen and amen. We need, we need to give. Oh. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, look, uh, uh, you, you know, you know uh, Mr. David has talked about the money that has been sent to to Ghana, you know, to look after the refugees there. You know, there are a lot of things we, got. we can't just pray or walk, uh, demonstrate or, or, or shout or whatever. We need to be practical. Jesus was practical. If people don't have anything to eat, they come and multiply the bread yes. and the fish because people need to eat. Yes. He can just say, oh, be blessed. Yes. Hallelujah. And then he says, he, 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 look, the Bible says, where is your treasure? That's where your heart also is. And, and don't forget, UK uh, uh, diaspora, the police diaspora, we have a bank account where we do the donation. Okay? So I don't have the, 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 the you, you can find it everywhere. It's on the, uh, you know, WhatsApp. Uh, and, and she said, please, do something. Some people, they don't want their name to show, it's fine. Just, you know, give us an anonymous uh, given, but be sure, be sure that this thing will go uh, to uh, Togo or Ghana, wherever Togolese people are, and they need our help. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make sure tomorrow, even when the fight is over, people will turn to the UK and say, when we were in a time of need, you were there for us, and that will be our testimony. Amen. 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 I know there are more uh, announcements uh, is, is coming, but I just want to say that you know what we have done tonight, it won't be one off. Yes. Okay? Amen. Now, because if you're in a fight, you fight till you see the video. And you're gonna carry on. Because you know, at some time you are frustrated when all the revelation, the things are coming, but you can't pray through because the time is against you. So we're gonna find a, a, a way to do this. Now, first, my first uh, thing is that I will, I will try, or we will try, to gather as a, 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 as a servant of God, man of God, and see how we can plan the future of the spiritual fight. Because we want to be along you, alongside yes. your fight, I mean, our fight, yeah. But we, are, we want to be alongside this with the spiritual fight. So, um, uh, you said, I don't know if you, you said right. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. Okay, so if there is a problem, you are here, we don't know you as a servant of God or whatever, you want to participate into this, please write your name down on a piece of paper for us so that we can contact you and then we can see how we can gather and, and search and, and search the face of God. We need to know where God is taking us, how God is working with us. Amen? Amen. 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 Uh, because of time, I'll be really brief. And I just wanted to uh, touch on uh, one or two things you said toward the end there. Uh, what we've done here today is really symbolic. It's really, really symbolic. And uh, uh, we would not like this to be the first and, and the last. We would like to carry on doing this uh, in the next uh, uh, few weeks, few months to come. Um, as I was saying to you this morning, I was in a conference, a, a conference call with all the leaders in the diaspora, and I sent them the program. They were really, really amazed. They were really, really amazed that something like that is going on today. And they said they're going to try and populate it so that, you know, the other diasporas in Europe can do the same. So, you know, you've done really well. I'm really, really happy and really pleased that you guys have, you know, come here to stay. Tonight, you've accepted our invitation and you've come here and you've worshipped uh, first and foremost uh, together. Um, with regards to the, the donations, we on the platform there was a provisional account on the platform, but the UK TDM diaspora movement has opened an account. So uh, hopefully, by tomorrow you will see the details on the platform so that you can donate uh, through, the, uh, through that new account. Also, uh, in terms of fundraising, uh, at the end, uh, on your far left, uh, there are some t-shirts in the corner. So please, uh, maybe visit them. And uh, that, that's one of the things we do to, you know, to do fundraising, to support the movement. And as you heard and you've seen on the platform already, we sent some money to the refugees, to police refugees in Ghana. We've just located a hospital in Togo, where we're going to send some money to help people who, you know, were wounded and, you know, that people in need. So we really need your support so that, you know, we can do this together. 
the blood of Jesus that was shed at the cross at the cup have neutralized the power in Togo in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus that poured the cover have destroyed any power that a young man and a family have taken from Togo to rule and rule the Togo. The blood of Jesus neutralized it. The blood of Jesus speaks more than any other blood. The blood of Jesus is speaking right now. So, Father God, we thank you for what you have given in this place. We thank you for the liberty and the freedom in Togo right now. We thank you for the people that is in Togo right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you are covering our family. You are destroying, dismantling the work of the enemy. Father, anyone that is not of you, that the spirit is contrary to your spirit, that sit on a throne by the reason of anointing. How you make Nebuchadnezzar to go to the forest to learn from a spirit. We call it done in the name of Jesus. May you visit that to all that. In the mighty name of Jesus. If it's the killing, may you kill it, you know how to do best. 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 Your people are crying in the land. The blood of the righteous are crying in the land. The blood of the righteous, they are crying in Ghana. The, right, the blood of the righteous, they are crying in Benin. The blood of the righteous, they are crying in West Africa for liberty, for liberty, for liberty. We thank you. So you cover our way now, our coming as we meet again in Jesus' name.